Hello, hello, hello everyone, and we are so excited that you took the time to join us on the No Zone. I am Charlie. I am Janet, and this is a place of fun field learning action. We're doing the introductions and you're playing games on your phone. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Hold up, Mara. Why bring a video game to the studio? Well, I'm just following today's topic. Okay then, that is excellent. But, we're going to have Thank to you. hold off on the video game while we talk to our friends. Because we have a lot of action lined up for today's show. Now, to start us off, we are all going to go into the chill out zone and meet our friends for the day. Marara, let's go. Well, okay. No. But Hello, everyone. Hello. All right, all right. Now let's say a big hello to everyone who's watching us at home. Hi. We are so, so, so glad to have you here, helping us with today's show. Now to start us off, who can tell us what? our show is about today. It is about home equipment. All right. Now, you see, Charlie, I was right to bring my playing station with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um, we understand now why you're playing video games, but don't do it right now. Okay. Now, what are the buzzwords? Gettle. Clefishon. Jiko. Fridge. Wow, now talking of fridge, my mom owns a really, really big fridge and I just love it. Yes, of course you would, Marara. That's where you store all of your meat. <laughs> all right, now let's get back to the show. Remember, all these buzzwords are very important, so be sure to look out for them in today's show. But right now, it's time for us to... Where's my remote? Oh, uh, Ch Charlie! My remote. <sighs> But right now, it's time for us to go and visit with our six favorite friends and see what adventures they're up to. It's time for the... Yeah! Whoa, there. Now, just where do I begin? Hey! Who dares knock on my door? It's us, Mrs. Zippo. The children. <gasps> Didn't I tell you I was cleaning up today? We know, but... Well, but I am so sorry that I do not have time for fun and games today. Mr. Zippo, what Zach is trying to say is that we came to help you clean the playhouse. Really? Yes. Where do we begin, Mr. Zippo? Well, first, I cannot thank you enough for helping me clean up. You don't have to thank us, Mr. Zippo. This is what friends do, right? Yeah! Oh, well, you have no idea how much work I have to get done today. And... Uh... Oh, no! It, it can't be time yet! Mr. Zippo, what's that sound? Yeah, what's the problem, Mr. Zippo? Well... Uh... There's a meeting I have to attend and... Oh, just where did time fly? I haven't started cleaning up and... Now this? Now what am I going to do? Do you have to leave now? Well, I'm afraid so. Well, you can leave us here and we'll clean up, right gang? Yeah! Well... Are you sure about that? I mean... The first thing that... Mr. Zippo, we'll handle this. No, please go before you get late. Okay, fine. But I'll be back as soon as possible. Just don't overwork yourselves, okay? Okay. Now where do we even start? Maybe if we took different tasks 
that we're all good at. Like, I could clean the kettle. Because my mom should be home. And I'll um, dust the Jiko. What about you guys? What do you want to do? Uh, guys have been thinking, and do you know what this place really needs? A television. What? what? Just imagine how much cooler the playhouse would be when we could watch cartoons or anything we liked. Like learning from interesting documentaries. Or watch latest football matches. Exactly. Wait, before we get ahead of ourselves, where on earth are we going to get a television? Maybe when Mr. Zippo comes back, he can help us make one. Or what about we make one ourselves? We can do that? Of course we can. All we need is some tools and lots of creativity. Zach, hand me that curtain box. What do you want to do with this? See? <laughs> it's a television. Wow, <laughs> that's clever. What else do we need? Okay, here is what we'll need to get started. Ladies and gentlemen, we now bring you the Playhouse Masketeer Show. Our talented wizard, Mr. Zippo, helps our brave little musketeers throughout their journey fighting dragons, witches, and monsters that reign terror in the magical forest. Introducing Theo, Daphne, Promise, Luigi, and... Zach, are you done? Huh? Are you have you finished drawing the cartoons? We need to color them before Mr. Zippo gets back. Um, sure, sure. Wow, Zach. These are pretty good. I mean, like, look at this. Thanks. Wow, Mr. Zippo will be pleased. Now, what's the next step, Theo? Um, uh, what's that? Do you think it's Mr. Zippo back from... Aha! Now, what did I miss? Mr. Zippo, you're early. Yeah, and and what what happened to my house? It's a surprise, Mr. Zippo. Surprise? Really, my house is a surprise? I thought you were meant to help me clean up. Yes, Mr. Zippo, we're cleaning it, but we wanted to make you a television. Television? So, what's next? A fridge? Is this some kind of a joke? And I tell the story. A long, long time ago, in a magical forest, there lived a good and wise wizard called Zippo, who liked to work with the children musketeers. And they all lived happily ever after. Yay! And Mr. Zippo, we wanted to make another television with these drawings that Zach drew. No, 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 children, children! Are you angry with us? No, I'm not angry with you. Why would I be? When this is the best gift that I have ever, ever received. What? Are you sure? Even after we made your house dirty. Please, 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 please. We could always clean up the house. What matters is that you are all very, very creative. Yeah. Wow! Thanks for the television. I'll definitely treasure it. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to clean up the house. What do you say? Huh? 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 Yeah! But wait, you can't just leave the story there. Yeah, what happens next? I don't know yet. What? That you've got to finish your story. It's really interesting. I will. Soon. Well, but as for now... We know, Mr. Zippo, it's time to clean up. Ah, uh, you said it! Yay! From Playhouse, this is Quizzy Quiz. Where is Mr. Zippo going? Mr. Zippo is going to a meeting. What do the children decide to make for Zippo? The children decided to make for Mr. Zippo a television. Quizzy is really clever, isn't he? Yes! Hey, wait a minute. I am also very clever, aren't I, Charlie? Aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, you know what? Okay, I'll give you that. 
Marara, you are a very clever liar. Boom! Boom! <laughs> now for you at home, we hope that you also enjoyed Quizzy's quiz. The question is, how many of his questions did you get right? I hope you get all of them right, actually. <gasps> Wait, 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 wait. I am also going to be number one in Teacher Pendo's lesson. <laughs> well, there is only one way to find out because it's time for... Cool Words! Cool Words, Cool, Cool Words. Hello, everyone. Hello, Teacher Pendo. Welcome to Cool Words. <laughs> In today's lesson, we are going to discuss and identify the items found in different parts of a house. We shall begin by naming the different parts of a house. Oh, oh Tisha Pendo, Tisha Pendo. Yes, Marara. There is a kitchen. Aha, that's right. There's a kitchen. Another area? Yes, Samira? The sitting area. Excellent, which is also called the living room. All right, someone else? Yes, Moshiri? The bedroom. Correct. Is there any other part we may have missed out? Yes, Abdullahi? Some houses have a bathroom and a toilet inside the house. That is right. However, in some houses, these two are outside the main house. Now, I have some pictures containing some items found in a home. Now, I will point at an item and I'll ask you to tell me what it is and which part of the house it is found in. Okay, so the first one. What is this and where is it found? Yes, Kaya? That is a kettle. It is found in the kitchen. Excellent. Okay, and what about these? Yes, Amira? Those are chairs. They can be found in the sitting area. That's right. Okay, now notice how I asked the two questions. What is this? And what are these? Now, Marara, please tell us the difference between these two. Well, I think, Teacher Pendo, mm -hmm. this is used when we want to talk about a single item which is near to us. Mm -hmm. And when it is a bit far from us, we use that. The plural form of this is these, while those is the plural of that. Uh -huh. Excellent job, Marara. Now, going back to the items on the picture. Okay, so what is this and where can it be found in a house? Yes, Moshiri? Th that is a mattress. It can be found in the bedroom. Excellent. Well done. Okay, now please tell me two other items that can be found in the sitting area. Yes, Abdullahi? The sofa and, and the television can be found there. City area. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Okay, and who can tell me what this is? Yes, Kaya? That is a torch, Teacher Pendo. You are right. Now, torches, lamps, and lanterns are found in some houses. Now, they are used during the night where there is no electricity. Oh, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. I've also seen some cupboards in some houses where all the dishes are kept. That's right, Marara. You may also find a fridge. Oh, Teacher Pendo, a big fridge like my mom's. Oh, okay, like Marara's mom's big fridge, which was used for keeping food and drinks cold and fresh. Now, these items that we have discussed are just a few of the many other items which are found in our home. There may also be water tanks, calabashes, buckets, carpets, and so on. Now, why don't you have a look around the house and see what items you can name. Now, please join us later on for more cool words. Right now, though, it's time for us to catch up with my speedy. Oh, that is right, Teacher Pendo. It is time for Out There. Somewhere in the middle of one of the greatest dumping sites here in Kenya lies a place of hope for lots of children who are less fortunate in the society. Boma Rescue Center is one place that has given life to orphans, children from poor backgrounds, and even kids who have nowhere to call a home. Are you curious? Me too! Come with me! Let's visit this wonderful place! 
the center is located just next to Korogocho slums in Nairobi. And due to the poverty levels here, most kids seek refuge in this center. My friend Mrs. Atula tells me, although today most of the kids are in school and other homes, this place hosts over a hundred children. Although they don't have boarding facilities, the center is a very important place for kids. It is from here that they know by good luck they will get someone to sponsor them for the most basic needs like education, food, shelter or even clothes. Sometimes using local materials like wood, wires and papers, they make toys and dolls that they use to play most of the time they are here. But it's not as easy as it seems. I am told for the wheels to fit into the cart perfectly on both sides, one has to measure the right width and length. This reminds me of the days I was growing up. Some of the kids here are talented and have learned to express themselves in different ways. Look, they are so flexible. Since the center started in the year 1996, it has successfully managed to send over 200 children to different places. Some have been sent to rehabilitation centers, others in boarding schools or even to well-wishers home for basic care. Let me try it out. It's my time, I'm coming! Ouch! Children, please don't try this at home because it really hurts. Most of the kids here have no idea what tomorrow holds for them, but they are all lovely people and can't resist the joy brought by the caring team here. It's every child's right to have a home, education and clothes. But for most of them here, their homes are like a mirror that reflects a dark side of life. And this center is their only sign of hope for a brighter future. I would have loved to spend more time with these lovely children. But sadly, it's now time for me to say bye. Oh wow, that was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy it? Oh yes, I did, Charlie. Oh yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. But right now it's time for us to have a little bit of fun. It's time for us to jump into our first game. That's right, it's time for the number pool game. Ha <laughs> Charlie. Number pool game, not video game. Okay, okay, all right. Number pool game. <sighs> yeah! Oh, welcome, 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 welcome. And it's time to dive into the number pool and have fun with numbers. Yes, number team, it's that time again. And today we are going to be dealing with subtraction. Now the question team is, are you ready? Yeah! All right. What you have to do is roll the dice. Now, once you roll the dice, you have to subtract the lower number from the larger number of the two numbers that are facing upwards. In this example, that would be 12 minus 2. <laughs> All right, that is correct. Then run to the number pool and find the answer hidden amongst the balls and give that to Janet. Yes, make sure you do that. Now, after your turn, you have to go back to the number team, tag the next team member who will go up to Charlie so they can get to roll the dice. Now, you have 30 seconds each to roll the dice, find the solution, get the solution from inside the number pit, take the solution to Janet, and then get back to your team and tag the next team member like this. All right, now if you get all the subtractions correct, then you can take away this 
fabulous books back to your school. Yes, you can. And not forgetting that Marara has some very special prizes for each one of you. Now, when you hear this sound, then you'll know that you are out of time. Now, for you watching us at home, don't worry. You can play along too. Just try and beat or match our number team. Now, the last question is, number team, are you ready? Yes! All right. Then, what are we waiting for? Let's roll the dice. Samira, you're the team captain. Come on up. You're up first. And right. she rolls the dice and we have... Whoa. Oh, that was a very that was a strong try. roll. Yeah, Let's go, roll Samira. it again. One more try. One more try. Roll it. Oh, oh there you okay. go. Okay, good technique. And we yeah. have 6 and 12. So what is 12 minus 6? Six. 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 six! Find a 6! 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 Find one! There's a 6 in there! You passed one! You passed one! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Take to Janet! Take to Janet! Take to Janet! Take the next team member! Abdullahi! There you go! Roll it! He rolls! And we have! What do we have? What do we have? It settles! It settles! It's 10 minus 5! What is it? It's 5! 5! 5! 5! 5! Well, well, okay. Oh, tag the other team member. Excellent. Mushiri, it's your turn now. Come on, come on, come on. And roll it, roll it. Rolls. Oh, good roll. Okay, we have a 10 and a 4. What is 10 <laughs> minus 4? Go, go, go. Look for the 6. Look for the 6. Six, six, six. Oh, All right. wow. Okay. 10 minus 4. That's 10 minus 4. Kea, yeah, it's yours. Come and on, come on. Kea rolls. And yeah. we have... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 oh. wait. 11 minus 4. What's 11 minus 4? What's 11 seven. minus 4? Minus 7. seven. Come on. <laughs> Oh. oh, time is up. Clearly, now the number team, you guys are faster than I am. Now, let's solve this sums. First person to roll the dice was Samira. Samira, you rolled 12 and 6. 12 take away 6 as well. Are you sure you gave me a 6? Yes. Oh, whoa, whoa, Samira. Whoa, yes, yes you did. did. Well done on that first sum. Second person to roll the dice was Abdullahi. You rolled 10 and 5. Ten to carry five, five is one. Uh, five. 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 Are These you kids sure? are even sure? faster than you guys. Uh, you gave me a five. Yeah. You sure we had fives in there? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, five. 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 All right. So far, so good. Third person to roll the dice was Mushiri. You rolled uh, ten and four. Six. Ten to carry Six. four is one. No, Six. Oh. Really? Really? Oh. You guys will be doing this mad sounds every day with us. Now, are you sure you give us a six? I think you give me a nine. What, I think that's what, what she gave me. Yeah. It could, could you are sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last person to roll the dice was Kea. You rolled 11 and four. <laughs> 11 to carry four is what Kea? Seven. 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 Oh. Yeah, okay, good. let's. Assuming you didn't hear what Kea said, Mara, 11 to carry four is what? I'll pass. You're, really? She yeah. already said seven. It's a You're seven. seven. Well, done. well done. Number team for getting all the four sounds correct. One more last clap. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, I see four correct answers, which means only one thing. Team captain, Samira, come on up. Congratulations, you and your team have won these books for your school. Show everyone at home a round of applause! All right! Yes, yes, and that is not all. You each get a storybook just for taking part. So come and get your storybook. Come, 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 come. Yeah, your storybooks! Is it just me or number four just keeps getting more and more intense? Did you see how fast they were moving? It was like choo, choo, I couldn't even choo. keep up with them. Ah, they were awesome. But time for us to take a short break. Yes, let's catch up with our girls in here on It's Our World. Spaghetti is so delicious. Hmm, I wonder what happens to our spaghetti once we swallow it. 
Well, I can tell you. It travels into what is called our digestive system. This is where all our food and drink goes. Does one of you want to take a tour around the digestive system with me? Yes, pick me, pick me. I would love to see where it all goes. Mmm, Ian, just take it. I'm enjoying my spaghetti too much. Okay, ready Ian? Here we go. So welcome to my invisible mini explorer. So this is my magic spaceship that helps me explore the unknown. Oh look, what happened? We shrunk. We are so tiny. Yes, we are so small so that we can travel into Sarah's digestive system without her knowing. So are you ready to explore? Yes, let's go. So this is the beginning of the digestive system the mouth. Here our teeth chew all our food into small pieces to help us swallow. Our saliva also helps us make the food soft and slimy so it's easier to swallow. Oh yeah, I can see the teeth chopping up the food and the saliva is everywhere. Can we follow it down that slide? Yes, there are actually two separate slides from the mouth, so we must choose the right one. All the air that you're breathing in goes down through the windpipe and all our food and liquids go down the food pipe. So let's use a food pipe so that you can follow the spaghetti. Okay, keep steady. We are now traveling from the mouth, down the food pipe and into the stomach. Oh look, it's like a bubbling swimming pool. Can you get out and swim? No, this liquid in the stomach is an acid, so you have to be very careful. The acid here is melting our food to become like a liquid. So once it is soft, it can enter the next stage of the slide, the small intestine. Ready? Here we go. So this is the longest slide of our journey. As you can see, food is traveling down this tunnel. However, some of this food is now being taken out of the tube by the body to be used for energy, repairing injuries, growing and other important body functions. It's lucky the small intestine is long enough for the body to collect enough nutrients it needs. Yes, it is a very long tunnel. In fact, it is about 22 feet long and most of our digestion is done here in the small intestine before it enters the large intestine. And so, if the small intestine is the longest tunnel in our body, why is it called the small intestine and not the large intestine? It's because the small intestine is the longest one, but the large intestine is the widest. Here you will see we are about to enter the large intestine. See, it's much more spacious. The job of the large intestine is to absorb all the water that our bodies need from the remaining food. Oh, that's cool. But what happens to the food that is still moving to the tunnel the body doesn't need? Well, now there's a little water left. And you can see it is getting thicker and we are slowing down. We have arrived at the collection of all the waste that our bodies do not need. This collection is emptied out of the body when we go to the toilet. Oh yuck, I don't want to end up in the toilet. Can we go now? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. So get ready. Keep steady. Oh look, we are back again. My gosh, and we are big. And look, Sarah has just finished her spaghetti. Yes, and that is the end of our tour of the digestive system. Now you better eat your food so your body can collect the nutrients it needs to give you energy and help you grow. Do you remember which part of the digestive system collects the useful nutrients from your food? Yes, the small intestine which is long and narrow. Well done, so you were paying attention. Well, that's all we have time for this week everyone, but I hope you enjoyed exploring our digestive system. Make sure you eat some healthy food so your body has nutrients to choose from and drink plenty of water. See you next week. Bye! That was really great. Did you enjoy exploring our world? Yes! Alright, and I hope you at home had fun learning about the world that we live in. 
Well, we've had so much fun and we still have a lot more coming up, but right now we have to take a short break. But we will be right back with more fun, more games, more learning. Right here on The Nozo. Don't go too far. <laughs> Welcome back to the No Zone. The place where we have lots of fun as we learn. Today's show is all about home equipment. That's right. Now, why don't you remind everyone about our No Zone buzzwords? Gadget. Television. Jiko. Fridge. Very well. Now, for you at home, be sure to look out for these buzzwords. We all know what that sound means. Teacher Pendo is waiting in the learning zone. It's time for... Hot Numbers! Hello everyone. Hello Teacher Pendo. Welcome to Hot Numbers. Now Teacher Pendo. Yes Marara. My mother was not happy with me this weekend. Why? What happened? I was so excited about tracing ships. And I used everything that I could. So what I did is I poured out her stuff so that I could use the boxes to do the tracing. Anyway, apart from the telling off I got, it was so much fun. Well, Marara, you should learn how to ask. So next time, make sure you ask your mom for permission. Yeah, I will, teacher Pendo. I learned my lesson. All right. But at least it's a good thing you've helped us remember what we learned about last week. We learned about tracing shapes using different objects. Today, we are going to make patterns using shapes. What? Patterns? What, what is a pattern, Teacher Pendo? A pattern is a repeated decorative design. Now, we find patterns everywhere on our clothes, our curtains, plates. Oh, Teacher Pendo, I get it. Uh, we have some distance relatives who have some patterns on their body. Well, we don't talk much to them, but we see them around. Really? Uh, who are these relatives of yours? Well, there is the cheetah. The leopard, the tiger, and they all have patterns on their bodies. Aha, that's true, Marara. Now, you do have relatives with patterns on their bodies. Now, let's look at these animals on the board. Now, who can give me an example of an animal with a pattern on its body? Yes, Kenyoho? A giraffe. A giraffe, very good. You can see the giraffes here have patterns on their bodies. Someone else? One boy, do you want to give us an example? Mm hmm What animal? Zebra. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Look at the zebra here and look at its pattern. Now, the animals we have just seen have decorative designs. Now, some are spotted while some have lines. Now, they also have different colors. Now, I have a material with me here today and this material has some patterns. Now, this kanga is a good example of a material with patterns. Now, the patterns are of different shapes. As you can see, I have circles here, I have a triangle there, okay. I also have a pattern here with me, my pattern of circles. Now, I have repeated my circles to come up with a very interesting pattern. And to make it more decorative, I have used colors, as you can see. Now, on the table, you have different shapes and you can use to make different patterns. So I want you to use these things that we have here, these items, to make different shapes. So let's get started. Okay, let's make some patterns. One boy, you're using the triangle, so let's get started.
and why don't you join in and make sure you make some really great patterns at home. Ah, I see everyone is doing so well. So are we done? Are we finished? Mm, I see you have very interesting patterns. Very creative. Okay, so we're going to show everyone at home what we have done. So we're going to start with you, Wangari. Why don't you show everyone at home what you have made? So I see you've made square shapes there. Very good. So who is next? Abdi Nasir, do you want to show everyone at home what patterns you have? Beautiful. Reminds me of the Olympics. <laughs> Very good patterns there with the circle shapes. All right. Kenyoho, why don't you show everyone at home? Ah, very clearly there. Those are uh, rectangles. Excellent. One boy. One boy was using the triangle and she's made a very creative pattern there with the triangles. Marara, why oh. don't you show us? Oh, yes, Teacher Pendo. Mm -hmm. Now, here is my pattern of ovals. As you can see, I have used orange, green, black, yellow well, and well i think it looks very good it is actually very beautiful and you were all very creative and came up with very creative patterns uh, did you pendo? yes marara our lesson today was like creative zone that is true marara unfortunately we are out of time for hot numbers today but we hope to see you next time for more fun with numbers now seeing that you've all been so creative why don't we stay in a creative mood oh that is right Japendo. It's time for Creative Zone. Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Zone. Now today we're stepping into music and you are about to hear from an instrument that you may have heard before. Sounds a little something like this. Oh, that is awesome. So I'm joined here by Amani. Amani, how are you today? I'm all right, Charlie. Excellent. Now, what are we looking at right now? We're looking at the basic drum kit, the kind you would find in a church or in a band. All right, all right. And I can see you brought a, a bag full of different kinds of uh, yeah. drumsticks. Yes, sure. So are you going to be giving us a basic lesson? Yes, definitely. And it's very easy. All right, so give us something brief, just, you know, an example. Oh, that was so awesome. Now, for you watching us at home, I hope you're as excited as I am. Now, please remember, you have to pay attention and get as much from this lesson as possible. Because one day, it could be you sitting right here giving lessons on how to play the drums in the creative zone. Thanks, Amani. I'm going to go and practice that outside right now. The floor is yours. All right, Charlie. All right, guys, today we're going to learn a little bit about the drum set or the drum kit, and then we're going to learn about playing the drum kit. We're going to learn on the components of the drum kit, starting from the hi-hat. This is the hi-hat. This one is the snare drum. And then we have the high tom. And the middle tom. Then we have the floor tom. And then we have the kick drum or the bass drum. Please note the different sounds of the drum kit. All right, we're going to take a simple tune like, um, say, row, row your boat. And then we're going to use three different beats to play the same tune. Remember, it's the same tune, three different beats. Let's start with the pop. This is how it goes. Let's go to Raga. This is how it goes. The third beat is the soccer beat, and this is how it goes. all for today guys 
I hope you've learned something and I hope you've enjoyed. So why don't we go on with the fun and join Charlie, Janet and Marara with our friends in the chill out zone. Playing with words will be so much fun. And I love the topic of home equipment because I can easily spell all those words. Ah, are you sure, Marara? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's let's see. Spell the word kettle. Okay. K E K K No, 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 no. <laughs> I want to spell the word fridge. <laughs> okay. okay. Spell the word fridge. My mom's big fridge. F I R D G. Wait, wait, no, there's no. Wait, let me start again. So, sorry, sorry, let me start again. F R I D G E M E N T. There's no M E N T. Okay, you know what? He got the first part of the word right, so congratulations. We hope that you at home are as excited as we are to be stepping out of the shadows and into the spotlight. It's time for... Spell it. Animal. Animal. Chapter. Building. Narrow. Building. Respect. 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 Deep. Vegetable. Work. 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 Now, for those of you who weren't paying attention, that was Welcome to Spell It. This is the place where we play with our words and our letters. Abdi Nasir, Wangare, Kinyoho, and Wamboi. You are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nozone Spelling Champion. The winner of today's competition will win the school a Nozone Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Yes, they will. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes! Thank you. All of today's words will be coming from our topic of what, Marara? The topic is home equipment. All right, so it's a very big topic and we'll get straight into it. Abdi Nasir, you're up first. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Abdi Nasir, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Jag. G-U-G. Bulb. Hmm? Repeat. Bulb. B-U-L-B. Stool. S. T double O L Fork Fork yes. F O R K Bush B U S H Glass G L A double S Well Bye. done Abdi Nasir come on back Well done well done Well done Abdi Nasir now Wangare it's your turn so come on down and step in the spotlight Home equipment home equipment Wangari, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Matt. M A T. Jiko. G I K O. Plate. P L A T E. Dish. D I S H. Knife. K N N I F E. Doll. D O W L. Books. B W O K S. Pillow. P I L L O. Fridge. Well done, right, well right. done. Come on back. All right, Kinyoho, it's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. Home equipment, home. Kinyoho, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Bed, B E D. Oven, O V E N. Spoon, S P W O N. Soap, S O A P. Flask, repeat, flask. F L A X Comb C O M P B Chair C H A I R Switch S W I T C H oh, Well right. done, done. Kinyoho, well done. And finally, one boy. It's your turn now. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Oh, equipment home. One boy, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Cup. 
C U P Tank T A N K Radio R A D I O Sink S I N K Video V E D E O Door D O Double L Table T A B L E Well done, right. one boy. Well, well done. done. Congratulations, everyone. Charlie. Yes. Please let us know how they all did. All right. Now, everybody did very, very well. And we actually have a three way tie for second place. But there is only one winner. Now, I'll start with Abdi Nasir. Abdi Nasir, you did very well. And you got five words correct. Let's give him a round of applause. Wangari, you also got five words correct. Let's give a round of applause. Which means that the winner of today's No Zone Spelling Competition with six words spelled correctly is Kinyoho. Congratulations, Kinyoho. You are today's No Zone Spelling Champion. Here is your dictionary. Show everyone at home the dictionary. A round of applause. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Kinyoho. Yes, step back. And to all of you for spelling so many words correctly. And for that, you each get a storybook. So come and get your storybooks. Come, 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 come. Ooh. That was a pretty good round of spelling. I mean, they were all strong. Yes, they were all strong. And that three-way tie is proof of it. But there can only be one winner. You know, after that, I think I think we should take a break. Yes, please. It's time for us to join Stupendo in Cool Words. Welcome back to Cool Words. As always, Marara is eager to get on with the show, so let's get started. Now, on the board here, I have some sentences. They contain gaps. Now, your task is to fill in the gaps with either this, that, these, or those. Now, the first one has been done out for you. This is a radio. These are radios. Now, so you see the plural of this is these. Okay, remember to look at the sentence carefully before you choose the answer to write in. So who would like to try the first one? Yes, Kaya? That is a water tank. Those are water tanks. Very good. So that is a water tank. Those are water tanks. Brilliant. Moving on to the next one. This is a pillow. Yes, Abdullahi? This is a pillow. This is these are pillows. These are pillows. Very good. So the plural of this is these. So these are pillows. Excellent. That is a cupboard. Moshiri, do you want to try this one? Yes. yes. That is a cupboard. Those are cupboards. Very good. That is a cupboard. Those are cupboards. Excellent. Next one. Dash is a stool. Yes, Samira. This is a stool. These are stools. Very good. This is a stool. These are stools. And the last one, Mara, do you want to try it? Oh, yes, teacher mm -hmm. Peno. I think the answer is um, this mat is very small. Mm -hmm. These mats are very small. Excellent. So this mat is very small. These mats are very small. Good job, all of you. You've all done really well. Remember, the distance between you and the item you are referring to is what determines whether you will use this or that. Why don't you practice asking questions using this and that with your friends at home? Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today on Cool Words. Be sure to join us next time for more fun with words. Right now, though, it's time for us to settle down and enjoy another story. Oh. Oh, yes, it's time for Story Zone! Ha! I'll be reading the story, Kimoto, the Village Farmer. In the village of Kenga, there lived a farmer called Kimoto. 
Kimoto grew vegetables in his small farm. But there was one problem. Kimoto always got little harvest that was not even enough for his family. He was always seen at the market asking for seeds to plant in his small farm. Do you have free cabbage seedlings that I can plant on my small farm? Kimoto would ask shopkeepers at the market. Some shopkeepers would laugh at Kimoto. Ha 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 ha! Look at this poor farmer asking for free seedlings. We only have seedlings to sell, not to give out for free. One afternoon, Kimoto got very tired. He decided to sleep under a tree. In his sleep, Kimoto had a dream. In his dream, Kimoto saw a big farm. It was so big that he could not see the end of the farm. He decided to take a walk through the farm. In the farm, he saw rabbits in a hutch. Kimoto then saw cows in a field. Kimoto saw a farmhouse. He walked in. He saw very many tools. There was a hammer and nails, a spade and a shovel. On another corner, there was a wheelbarrow. Suddenly, Kimoto heard a loud voice. Who is in my farmhouse? It's me, Kimoto. I'm just a poor farmer from Kenga, and I like your farm. Kimoto replied to a voice he could not see. I want to become a good farmer just like you, Kimoto added. No problem. I will teach you how to be a good farmer, the loud voice said. But you will have to first tell me what you have in your farm. I plant vegetables on my farm, but I do not get good harvest, Kimoto said. Vegetables are good plants, but let me think about what could be your problem, the loud voice said. Where do you get your seeds and seedlings from? The voice asked. I get them from the market. I usually ask for free seedlings because I do not have enough money to buy seedlings, Kimoto replied. I see. That is a problem, the loud voice replied. For you to get good harvest, you must plant quality seeds in your farm. I will tell you where to get quality seeds. Tell me, please, Kimoto pleaded with excitement. Be patient, Kimoto. I must get all your problems before I can tell you where to get quality seeds, the loud voice said. Do you use manure when planting your vegetables? The loud voice asked. No, I do not have animals on my farm to give me manure. I just throw the seeds in the soil, Kimoto said. I see. That is the other problem, the loud voice said. You need to keep some animals like chicken, cows, goats and pigs in your farm. These animals will give you manure which you can use to grow vegetables in your farm. That is a great idea, but where will I get the money to buy animals? Kimoto asked. I am just a poor farmer. Don't worry, Kimoto. I will show you where to get good animals, the loud voice said. What tools do you have in your farm? The loud voice asked. I use a hoe to dig and a wheelbarrow to carry the seedlings, Kimoto replied. Very good. But you need to add more tools, like a shovel, to get seedlings from a nursery, a spade to dig deeper holes, and a rake to collect dry leaves to put on the nurseries, the loud voice said. Where will I get the money to buy all these things, Kimoto said, almost giving up. Don't worry, I will also show you where to get the tools, the loud voice asked. Can you tell me now, said Kimoto. Not too fast, Kimoto. Let me take you around my farm, the loud voice said. But I cannot see you. How will you take me around your farm, Kimoto asked. Immediately, an old man with grey hair appeared. He was holding a rake in his hand. He wore a heavy overall and gum boots. My name is Kanji. I am a farmer and this is my farm, the old man said. Kanji took Kimoto outside. Now, Mr. Kanji, can you tell me where I can get all the tools, seeds and animals? Kimoto asked. Yes, I will tell you, Kanji said. Tomorrow, go to Chief 
and ask him to help you get these things. He is very ready to help. Just then, Kimoto woke up. He got sad that it was just a dream. He decided to go to the chief's office the following morning. When he reached the chief's camp, he was welcomed warmly. He also met other farmers from the neighboring villages. The chief gave them seedlings and many other farm tools. He also told them to build animal houses in their farms and come back for farm animals. Kimoto rushed home and started working on his farm. After two days, he went back to the chief to get the animals. Within one week, Kimoto's farm had changed. Villagers could hear cows moo, cocks crow, and goats bleat. He also helped other villagers to become good farmers. Everybody at Kenga village respected him very much. They started to call him Kimoto, the village farmer. The end. From the story zone, this is Queasy Quiz. Where did Kimoto get good seedlings for planting? He got seedlings from the chief. What was the old man's name? The old man's name was Kanji. Quizzy is such a genius now. Did you all enjoy that? Yeah! All right, and thank you very much for helping us with the show today. Did you enjoy yourselves? Yeah! Excellent. Well, we hope you at home also had a good time. And it was a super duper great show. Ha! Oh, Marara, what an excellent roar to close the show. Now, sadly, that is all we have time for today. But make sure that you join us right here. Same time, same place for more learning, fun and laughter. Come on, everyone. Let's say goodbye. Bye. Bye.